Hey YouTube, it's Mitch at iPhoneCaptain.com. Today we're going to be doing the top 30 free City of Tweaks for September. These were free tweaks that came out in the month of September. And there may be a couple in here just early October. Now guys, keep in mind this isn't a review of these, only just me showing you what they are. So we're going to run through them pretty fast so the video don't get too long. The first one we're looking at here is Volume HUD. And it shrinks the footprint of your volume HUD. You see when I push my volume button up, I now get that real small volume HUD there that's coming from volume HUD. Next thing I'm going to show you since we're already here yet, right at it, is the NC Calculator 7. It's called NC Calc 7. And it's in the notification center too. And it puts a small calculator right inside of your notification center which is awesome so that's called nc calc 7. the next one is called cc shuffle and what this does is simply it adds the a shuffle in the control center and on your lock screen so i'm going to turn on some music and here again we're going to turn it the volume all the way down and I'm going to go to the lock screen and right up here at the top you see now we have the little arrows that, that form us like a little circle here on the left side that's the shuffle button okay that will make it shuffle now instead of playing one after the other next one is called status bar timer and what this does guys is it puts the timer right in the status bar so if you actually wanted to put a separator in there, you could. But if we had a timer set, um, and we can do that very easily by going into the clock here and going to two timers, and we'll put one for, let's say, just 30 minutes, and go back out. You see now it starts counting down up there in real time, and when it counts all the way down, it'll, it'll alert just like it always would. And that's called status bar timer okay so i'm going to cancel that out next up is called my phone default and what this does guys is it here again it gives you another uh option for your phone and i was going to actually show you in the and if you go in here and look at the actual settings and things it's a quick phone tweak. It allows you to set the default tab that opens when you first launch the app. So whichever tab you want to open when you launch your phone app, personally, I think it only makes sense to launch the keypad. But if you wanted your contacts sex, uh, category to open instead, that would be left up to you. Uh, the next thing we're looking at here is called Speedmaster Free. And what Speedmaster Free does is it increases and decreases the speed of the animations of your apps. And you can actually turn this on and off on a per app basis by simply tapping the little S plus icon right here. And you see you got Speedmaster. You can turn it on and off. And if you wanted to turn it on for one password, you can just you can do that. But it says free version can change two apps if you want more you have to buy the pro version okay so looks like in the free version you can only change two so that's going to be limited on that side but there again it's it is free the next one we're looking at is called hide labels um this can be very useful when you're theming your device things of that nature so if we go in here and go to right here hide labels you can see that you can actually turn on and off uh, labels for the dock or just for the springboard or for both and I've currently just turned them off for the dock just to show you how it works so if we go in here and go down to hide labels you'll see, you'll see right here that it is very easy to use so if we go in here and respring you'll see when we come back up we won't have any labels for anything and to me it just makes it hard to find where you're going when you use a lot of apps like I do and as you can see here there's no icon uh, now there's no labels for anything 
So I'm going to go back into settings and I'm going to turn that off. And now when we hit the respring, we'll have all of our icons back. And that's called hide labels. Now the next one is called no motion. And if you remember, a lot of people were getting dizzy headed using the parallax effect when uh, the iPhone, I think it was the 5, released. And what it does is this year removes all motion, even from third party apps. So you can also turn it off by going into general and I think it was accessibility and scroll down here to reduce motion right here you can turn that on and off too if you want if you want to do that besides use the tweak and that's called no motion the next one is called C switcher and this is a pretty cool tweak itself it puts um, some more features in your control center and it says it moves your app switcher into the control center so if we double double tap now we get the app switcher in the control center which looks pretty cool I think it looks awesome myself something you might want to check out next up is volume status 2 and what this does guys is I think it puts the little speaker up there let's make sure though I know when we had volume status released I think that's what it did it adds the little speaker up there in your status bar. So if we go into settings here and we'll scroll down to volume status, make sure it's on, which it's not. And you can see here you can even hide your volume HUD if you don't want to see that. So now when you turn your volume up, you see you got the little lines in front of the speaker up there in front in your status bar. If I turn that all the way down, See, it's removing those as we turn down to zero. So that's a pretty awesome little tweak. You can check your volume without ever having to open your control center or anything. Next one is called Faces. And this lets you put photographs in your, if you want to choose an image for different buttons, we'll just choose an existing image here. And just to show you that it is picking them I was just going to try to find something that would be easy to, not, to notice. I'll choose this. All right, so what you can do, uh, also you have to have your uh, passcode enabled, which I don't. So I'm going to turn it on. All right, now whenever you unlock, you're going to get this pop-up here. And you see my big mug is in the one slot, which that's what was supposed to be there. And you can pick that for each button it, it allows you to add the, a customizable photo for your different numbers down through there. The next one is called Messages Plus. And what this does, it adds a lot of cool features for your iMessages and SMS. You see here, you can turn it on and off several different things. And one of my favorites is you can turn the I'm not typing off. If you don't want people to know when you're typing back, you can turn that on. And that way they don't know when you're typing back. The next one is called No Emoji Paging. And I'm sure that most of you are aware whenever you open up your keyboard that you got a emoji keyboard down here. So if you open it up, rather than having to scroll all through all this now, it just allows you to scroll through all of them at one time without having to tap each category see that's the numbers there all the way at the end so now you see you can swipe through them all this way so it's pretty cool guys that's called no emoji paging the next one is called no slide while music so if you got music playing this will remove the slide to unlock on the lock screen it won't block your album art anymore. You see now it's gone. Slide to unlock is. Pretty awesome. Next one is called Dock Adjust. And it actually allows you to adjust the height of the dock. So if you go in here to settings. You see here if you move it all the way up like so. Respring it says. So once we come back then it will be a lot taller 
the dock wheel and as you can see it looks very odd like this so that's the reason why I chose that so I could show you exactly how it would look the next one is called no passcode lockout how many times have your friends got your phone and entered the wrong passcode 10 or 15 times to get you locked out for like 30 minutes or an hour or for a million minutes or whatever this removes that it will still prevent people from being able to unlock your device but you won't get that ban on you for so many minutes you know after you enter the incorrect code so many times next up is called central hider and central hider central hider actually will hide your um, control center while you are playing games and you can set it up inside of the settings here by going to control center central hider and in here you can enable the tweak which I don't even have it turned on right now and you can turn it on on the notification center control center uh, you can you can activate it using an activator the next one we're looking at guys is called shy dots shy page dots so let's go in here and let me show you a little bit about what it looks like inside of Cydia um, what this does is whenever you are scrolling the dots disappear page dots will hide themselves when not in use so you see when you're sitting still they will disappear and when you scroll they appear so when you sit still for a second they go away that's called shy page dots you know in iOS 8 on the iPhone 6 and the iPhone 6 Plus it has a feature called reachability well this tweak is called reachability 7 and it actually adds the same type of feature to this iOS 7 device so if you go in and if you go in the settings right here you can see the activation method is what I'm trying to get right now I'm gonna put it to triple press so when I triple press it drops down that much and you can customize however low you want it to come you see you got your shift height there 100 you can set that to whatever you want it to be and this is called reachability 7 it's a pretty awesome little tweak the next one we're looking at is called sound light and if you are a big fan of your flashlight then you definitely want to check this little tweak out here because I've been one to leave my flashlight on before thinking I've turned it off when I tap the button you hear that little noise and you can actually customize those sounds if you want to update those it tells you how to do that but if you go in here sound light that you have some different things here where you change the name and enable it and all that stuff but it gives you the little file the, the little file location and where you need to drop the new sounds in and it tells you what kind of, of uh, file it needs to be extension all that so check it out if you want to use it next up is called in stat 7 for notification center this gives you a visual for the amount of space that's free the memory RAM that's free and the if you were uploading or downloading something the kilobytes is going up and the the amount that's coming down per second all that and you can actually customize those colors by going into settings here and going to in stats and here you see you got free memory if you wanted to choose a different color you just slide your little color picker and tap done and same thing for all of those and then you just uh, have new colors music slide that's the next one and it's a music tweak and if you go to your music and enable something here turn something on we'll just turn this on I'm gonna turn it the, the uh, volume all the way down but you know it is playing and we'll go back out here and you see here uh, in the slide to unlock area down there if we switch songs you see we get that in the slide to unlock area we now have the song title so that's what music slide does
Guys, that's five awesome tweaks. Check them out. I think you'll really enjoy them. Don't forget, as always, hit that thumbs up button. It really helps us a great deal. Share this video with all your friends and enemies and keep coming custom back. Custom volume step. This allows you to customize your volume to the amount that you wish it to increase and decrease when you press the volume button. And let me show you what I mean by that. You see now it's at full volume. Okay, we'll get that back up. And when I press down, you see now it's going by halves. Okay, that's because under the settings here, I have gone in and changed that to, to those settings. So go to custom volume step, and you see I have it set to a half. If you wanted it to go into the force, which probably would be better, you know, if you want to get really minute with your volume you could go with eighths you know just depends on how you want your volume to increase and decrease free one guys grab it the next one is called shy page dots and what shy page dots does is it actually shy page dots hides the dots themselves when they're not in use they will appear when you start scrolling and when you're done they'll go back into hiding there's no options to configure or anything like that and you can see down there that the dots are gone when it's sitting still when I start scrolling you see they come back to show us how many pages we have but when we're not using or scrolling the page dots go away which is pretty cool the next one is cow c-o-u I think that's how you pronounce that and not cow as in moo moo cow cow uh, the the uh, the U doesn't make the W sound, I don't think. But what this does is it adds this cool feature to your phone. Uh, I'm sorry, to your phone calls. When you're get, receiving phone calls, it will add these two buttons to your lock screen. And you'll be able to actually tap accept or decline. And you can even go a bit further if you want to add this no message or no remind right here you can turn that on and it disables the remind and messages buttons that are shown when you get an incoming call that's called Kyle guys that's 30 free city of tweaks hope you enjoyed the video it's probably a little bit longer than you're used to anyway hit that thumbs up button it really helps it get seen a whole lot more share it with everybody you know please and keep coming back